So I thought I'd share this little fly, it's a, a Muskins variant, a Muskins is usually tied with a little bit of Antron as he breathers or um, a bit of wool, it's depending, so this one's got a, a Glowbright number 5 Floss as he breathers and this is a very good fly when the August, September, October when the, the trout are getting a bit wound up, ready to spawn, um, although most of the fish we fish for nowadays are triploids but this colour is certainly a trigger, so let's go ahead and tie it. In the vise I'm going to put a, a wet fly hook, that's a size 10. Uh, I've got a one old black thread, I'm just going to come in and create a bed of thread to tie the body in. I'm just going to come to a point opposite the hook point there. And the tail used to be caught. Um, uh, cock cockle, I prefer cock de Leon. So I'm just going to take a little pinch of this. Enough so you can see the tail, but not enough so that the tail's massive. And I want the tail to be the same length as the body, so come in with a pinch and loop, just catch it so that you're happy. And then once you're happy, lock in time lock in place with thread wraps. Come up the hoot shank. Like so. In with the scissors and snip. Now with this particular one, because it's a, a natural colour, I use uh, copper. If I tie black ones, I use silver uh, wire, but this is a thin this is a thin copper wire. All I'm doing is keeping the body nice, neat and even. Like so, now well, I've got a, an old pheasant here, with really long fibres. And I take about four or five strands. You don't want this thick. Um, you want, it, you want it as a thin fly, so not too many fibres. Come up and secure so you're, you've got everything in place there, right at the end of the uh, body. Now, I'll just come in and give the squeaky bob in. A little bit finish. And what I do is, when I'm winding the body, I go counterclockwise. And you see that's a really, really thin body. Just come up, touching turns, button up against the last, the last turn, and then just secure that in place. What I'll do is I'll take the thread up. So I'm creating a little bit of bulk at thorax. I'll take the thread up and back down for the thorax. Here. Just come in and trim all the waste fibres. If you can hear any noise, that's my family singing, doing a bit of sing star, <laughs> chilling. So the copper wire, this time what I'll do is I'll come up clockwise. So I'm going against the grain of the feather, locking everything in place basically. I only want one, two, three, four, that's enough. Come up, lock it in place on my side of the, the hook shank. And again, keeping everything even, wind up to the eye and take that off there. So you've got your little thorax area. Now I come in with my Glowbright number 5 and I'm going to take about 7 inches, 6 7 inches you can see it and then just double it over and then double it over again again I don't want this too thick bring it up with your thread and lock in place on either side and wind the thread up to just behind the eye I'll show you it better on this on the other side. So move the thread, give it a little spin, lock it in place, and you basically want a V coming up. There yeah, you can see it one side and the other side. Back down. Back down to where the body joins. I'm just gonna get rid of this straggly and so things a bit tidier. So I've got the V coming out the end there. And then again coming in with my pheasant tail. I'm taking a little bit wider section, probably 8 to 10 fibres, because I want to create a thorax area. And then catch that in, because this is going to be your, your um, thorax cover. Wind down to the body. And then in with the scissors and separate everything. And take these tips away.
tips of a couple in here and mix them with the floss, which is typical. Just get all that out of the way. There we go. Nice and tidy. And then I come in with a little bit of, it's, it's like a hair's ear dubbing. This is squirrel, it's a little bit finer. And what I do is I do the thorax, I go for the top, for the bottom, up and down again. So I'm covering the thorax, but again, I didn't want anything bulky here. Just a really tight, thin dubbing rope. So I come up the thorax, and down the thorax, and that should be, that should be you running out of thread. Then come through with your thread, pull it through the dubbing. That just secures everything really, really tightly, like so. I'm busy! When all that's attached, just bring your thread up, pull your floss back a little bit and just have a couple of turns there and you'll see it kicks everything back. One just to lock in and now just bring your thorax cover up and through again cut the wraps and then only your scissors and cut as close as you do because we've got a tidy all this your whip finishing tool and just perhaps if I can see what I'm doing just neaten everything up make sure everything's covered there yeah. and with the snips and then what you do is you take your your um, floss and with your thumb and forefinger force it up. You can see the eye of the hook there. That's where I'm cutting. So the length has got to be where the eye of the hook is. A straight line with your scissors, like that. And there it is. That lovely little nemesis. Not nemesis. I'm sorry. Muskins. What I'll do is just give it a little dab of varnish. Tidy the head up a bit. Hope you enjoyed that. Little muskins, hot spot muskins, and also a little fly. Um, please click the button and subscribe to the channel for more fly time videos. Thank you.